Yay! Yeah. I see. You're doing it the wrong way. That's not bloody good, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Holy hell. What's happening guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be removing the transom. It's actually really nice because I've got a tree here and in the afternoon the sun, as the sun goes down, it creates a nice beautiful shade on the boat. So working in the afternoon is definitely a pleasure. When you start in the morning it, it really gets hot um, working in 35 plus degrees heat. So today is absolutely beautiful. We're also going to be removing the top table here. I'm going to be making some lockers in the rear later down the track and tying them into the stringers so we can hide the bilge area, have a place to store the dual battery system, all the electrical, blah, blah, blah. So that's going to be removed today. I've also got the bobcat here acting as a table because I'm going to be removing this one, uh, which was a bit of a temporary bench. So yeah, let's crank straight into it. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. We'll see how we go. Check that out for a look. So first thing we're going to do is remove the bench. You can see here that it's just been poorly fiberglassed up to the side of the boat. We're just going to use that angle grinder with the multi-cutter to cut down here, down to the lip. I'll probably cut all the way through so we can remove this whole hatch and then we can install that later down the track once our uh, transom is uh, fiberglassed up. So let's do that. We might have to jump out of the boat for that one. Remove the table and then we can start the transom. Okay, the bench is gone. Look how much room we have now to access the transom. Check that out. So you can see the original layup. The fiberglass isn't that thick at all. So most of it is marine ply. You got about, oh, I'd say 40 to 50 mil of transom there. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna see how I go. I'm either gonna use the angle grinder or the, the multi-tool, and I'm just gonna cut the inner skin out so we can remove the fiberglass and then once the fiberglass is removed we can start hacking into the marine ply through the hatch effect where we kind of um, slice it into uh, little squares and then we can use the crowbar to hack the wood out but we want to try and not damage the outer skin which is going to be the worst part. So we've done uh, the hatch, so they're just like maybe 100 by 100 squares and I've probably gone down between 10 and 15 centimeters into the wood. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to chisel it out with the crowbar and the hammer one at a time and just slowly work our way across the transom. I think this is where uh, the time starts to, to count, but let's chisel it out so it's um, all new and ready for another 25 years.
was actually pretty so excited to get down to this point here because this is where the repair was to cover up where the inboard stern goes. I don't even think they used marine ply. I have no idea what they used to seal it because it does not look like epoxy or poly. And they've left a gap where they've just thrown the wood in there with a couple of screws hanging out as well. That is so dodgy. I'm going to give you guys a bit of a close up. <laughs> Check that out. <laughs> Look at this stuff. I don't even know what that is. Is that like, like liquid nails or something? And then you've got a massive hole between where they filled and where they've cut and it doesn't even look like marine ply almost looks like chipboard look so yeah that whole area is coming out um yeah that's 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 no go that's so dodgy <laughs> oh some people i tell you we're getting there guys this is a very slow process i've hatched the rest of it so I'm just chipping away with the crowbar, piece by piece. It's coming out not too bad. The wood was fairly dry actually, like check that. I think the only wet area was around where he's cut this out. Keep chipping away. It looks like they've got like a little five or 10 mil marine ply piece between this layer of glass and the outer skin. So I do have to chip that away as well once I get the bulk of it. I'm not even sure what this wood is. But it's definitely not marine ply. So back in the day, they would have used some sort of hardwood, but yeah, not sure what it is. Oh. Right. Okay, day two of removing this transom and I can hear a lot of tapping going on. What is going on? Oh, it's Uncle Steve! Chichi's done a couple of Don't hours. Right Hang on, Chichi. In the here. There you go, mate. Start talking. Pitch in the socket. Done all this here, you have to take it off. Is that thick? Yep. Over an inch or something. Oh, you see it there. One. Over an inch. Thick. Uncle Steve's done a few hours uh, while I was at work. Bloody I'm hot. <laughs> it's bloody hot, yeah. I'm going to throw the respirator on. I'm not going to chuck the, the suit on today. I'm not really working with the fiberglass. It's more so just chipping out the wood. I'm, I'm going to sweat in that. It's yeah, literally 42 degrees today. I think it's even here any more today. Oh, it was hot. Yeah, 42, 43. Let's get straight into it, eh? That's it. And make it as thin as possible so you can down the back of the fiberglass. Ow! Oh, shit. It's a little bit wet here on the bottom towards the bottom of the transom. That's yeah. probably where whoever had it he has, must have been leaked. Yeah, it's probably leaked from the inboard. You can see that there's a little bit of moisture build up around the wood surrounding where the, the stern drive was. black in wood it means it's rotten watch those nails yeah 
Take a bit of put some of my weed out, walk on it. See how rotten the wood is? Yeah. Solid as, but then some straight through. That's not bloody good, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Holy hell. This is a bit of a straight cut, eh? Huh? This is a straight cut. That's it. See how bad it is? Yeah! Oh, yeah. 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 I think um, you gain more confidence as you do the job. I was a bit scared of cutting into that skin. Yeah, give it away. But yeah, just give it to her. Yeah. I got I to gotta lay a couple of layers of glass on top of this before I do my first bit of marine ply anyway. So, without further ado, let's get to the other side. If um, you have any tips on removing transom, please let me know in the comments below. To obviously clean this up. We'll cut that out. I'll give it a go with the angle grinder. If not, then the multi-tool's coming out out of retirement. Yeah, that there, yeah. How good is that? Not there, mate. Look at that, what's wrong with that? What are you getting, huh? Trying to damage that back. You know what I mean? Nick's done alright. He finally got that corner done. A lot of mucking around, but we got it. That corner there, oh my god. Gotta start again. That's harder. That's hard of wood. Look at that, it was thin as paper. transom is out uh, you can see on this side what we've done on the starboard side that is now all removed uh, just a little bit of glass to sand down but uh, that will be in the fairing stage when we do the hull as well we just got a little bit to do on the port side uh, most of the the main woods removed we just got that little skin to uh, to remove the outer skin looks like it hasn't been touched much which is good haven't put a hole in it oh besides the stern drive that's been cut out from that uh, dodgy repair, but that is now gone. Got about half an hour or so to go, just removing the last bit of timber connected to that outer skin. But uh, I hope you enjoyed that one, guys. Um, if you're liking this series, please subscribe to the channel. I just want to say a huge thank you to you guys that have subscribed. We just hit 9,000 subscribers all over the world, so that is pretty cool. Crazy, actually. So, yep, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Hey, Chich, you want to know why we're uh, removing the cabin? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> Shit.
She's a goner, mate. Must have had a lot of water going in here. <laughs>